Hello! Welcome to Metaprogramming and Groovy. We're going to explain what metaprogramming is and walk you through four different metaprogramming techniques available in Groovy. Many Groovy users first see metaprogramming in the Grails GORM framework or various Groovy DSLs. This presentation explains how frameworks like this work and help you make your own. Anyone familiar with Java-like syntax should have no trouble following along. There's a folk tale of a computer science student caught talking in class. As punishment, the professor made her write a program that prints out I will not talk in class a thousand times along with the line number. The catch was that she wasn't allowed to use iteration, recursion, go-tos, or any looping. The solution to this, of course, is to write a program that prints out the source code the professor is asking for. Writing a program that writes another program is an essential part of metaprogramming. This comes in many forms. Simple code generators are one form of metaprogramming. Generating XML bean bindings is a common practice from the Java world. Monkey patching is another popular form of metaprogramming. This is the act of opening classes at runtime to add behavior without altering the original source code. Many languages support compile time metaprogramming. The C preprocessor, Lisp macros, and C++ templates are all examples. These features are used to manipulate behavior and syntax of the computer program before it's even compiled. Groovy supports extensive runtime metaprogramming, which is what our concern is today. Groovy contains the ability to treat data like code and execute data at runtime. Both these examples show a string being evaluated at runtime, returning an integer. Where do these strings come from? Well, it could be a file or user input, or maybe Groovy source on disk. Why would you want to do this? Well, it's an alternative to futzing with class loaders to, to get a class dynamically loaded, like you would in Java. Writing DSLs is another reason. Exposing code snippets and config files allows you to create a program at a higher level of abstraction than the Groovy syntax level. Groovy's flexible syntax means code exposed in a file doesn't even have to look like Groovy. Moving on, sometimes the core JDK classes don't contain all the methods you need. Perhaps your project has a string utils class that allows you to sanitize input, or maybe a date utils that can add days to a date. Wouldn't it be nice if you could dynamically add a method to integer or string? Well, Expando Metaclass to the rescue. This Expando Metaclass allows you to dynamically add methods, constructors, and properties to existing classes. Every class in Groovy, including the Java classes, have a Metaclass. When a method is invoked on a class, the calls first dispatch to the Metaclass. If the method does not exist there, then the method on the class is invoked. This is a great way to add convenience methods to existing classes. This example creates a capitalized method on string by assigning a closure to the meta class. The target of the method call is available in the closure as the delegate object. In the hello example, the delegate is the uncapitalized hello string. A common usage is in unit testing with mock objects. Grails controllers are seen as difficult to mock out because so many methods on them are supplied at runtime by the framework itself. An easy way to mock out Grails controllers is to add log and request methods to the expando meta class of the class under test. Sometimes you don't know what methods will be called on your object until runtime. Typically, calling a non-existent method results in a method missing exception. But many objects in Groovy respond to method calls that aren't defined in source code. Building XML dynamically is a prime example. Generating XML based on the previous example can be accomplished by overriding a single method call, invoke method. Invoke method is called on almost every method invocation. You can provide dynamic methods by intercepting the method name and parameters from within it. Invoke method can also be used to wrap existing methods before invocation. Aspect-oriented around advice for logging is implemented here in four lines of code. First you overline invoke method, you log the message, invoke the original target, and log a message at completion. There's no extra libraries or instrumentation needed. Invoke method is a great aid for writing builders, validating parameters, logging, data massaging, and DSLs. A lot of dynamic flexibility comes with the ability to intercept every method call. However, this advantage is also the weakness. A lot of overhead comes with intercepting every method call at runtime. Normally, when a method missing or property is called, Groovy will throw a missing property or missing method exception. But if you override a method calling method missing, then Groovy is going to invoke that method before throwing the exception. Using this, you can intercept only those method calls that don't exist on your class. The method missing concept was invented for small talk in the 80s. By using it, you avoid the overhead of invoke method and add runtime functionality lazily. 
These examples are simply doing print lines for any method or property invocation that can't be found. This is how Grail's GORM framework works. At design time, your domain object, a book perhaps, will have the property title defined, but there's no definition of a find by title method. Instead, it's synthesized at runtime using method missing. The method parses find by title, and it calls the database with the data encoded in your method name. The significant overhead of method missing led the Grails team to invent a pattern called intercept cache invoke. When method missing is called the first time, you create a new method to invoke. Then, you add that method to the meta class, so future invocations will dispatch directly to the meta class, and finally you invoke the method you created. And that's it. You've seen four different metaprogram techniques in Groovy. We've evaluated strings as code, we've added methods and properties to with expando meta class, we've synthesized methods at runtime with invoke method, and we've optimized dynamic methods using method missing and intercept cache invoke. This pachachka was created by the Groovy users in Minnesota, meeting the first Tuesday of the month in Minneapolis to discuss and learn about Groovy and Grails. Visit our website at www.groovy.mn and if you're in the area, please stop by and say hi. Thanks for listening.